Hello everyone. Welcome to GK Today. All the videos of GK Today are absolutely free and available on GK Today's YouTube channel. And if you are looking for interactive quizzes in text and also their solutions, please download GK Today's Academy Android app. We have several free and paid courses in that app. Now this particular series is of 60 videos and in each video we are going to discuss select 15 questions and we shall also do 500 test questions after end of this series now let's start with the questions on indian polity so the first question is which article of the constitution deals with property contracts rights liabilities obligations and suits of the union and the states so you have the following options and the correct answer is option b that is articles 294 to 300 see the articles 294 to 300 that are in part 12th of the constitution of india deals with the property contracts rights liabilities obligations and suits of the union as well as the states in india now moving ahead with the next question so in which of the following cases the property accrues to the government as there is no rightful owner estate labs bona vacantia so you have to select the correct options from the quotes given below and the correct option is option d that is all the options 1 2 and 3 are correct see in three cases the property accrues to the government as there is no rightful owner or you can say claimant see these include estate so by estate it means that death of a person uh, intestate without any hire then talking about lapse so it is the termination of rights through uh, disuse or failure to follow appropriate procedures and thirdly the bona and thirdly bona vacantia that means property found without any owner so in these three cases the property accrues to the government as there is no rightful owner now the next question is all lands minerals and other things of value under the waters of the ocean within the territorial waters of india the continental shelf of india and the exclusive economic zone of india west with which of the following so you have the following options and the correct answer is option a that is union so all lands minerals and other things of value under the waters of the ocean within the territorial waters of union of india the continental shelf of india and the exclusive economic zone of india west in the union and not in the states Now the next question is India's exclusive economic zone extends up to how many nautical miles so you have the following options and the correct answer is option C that is 200 so the territorial waters of India extend to a distance of about 12 nautical miles from appropriate baseline similarly India's exclusive economic zone extends up to 200 nautical miles now the next question is Which article of the Constitution of India deals with the suits by or against the government of India? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option C that is article 300. So uh, the article 300 of the Constitution of India deals with the suits by or against the government of uh, India and the uh, article states that the government of India may uh, sue or be sued by the name of the union of india and the government of a state may sue or be sued by the name of the state now the next question is in which of the following cases the distinction between the sovereign and non sovereign functions of the government in india and the immunity of the government in respect of its sovereign functions was established so you have the following options and the correct answer is option b that is p and o steam navigation company case so in the famous p and o steam navigation company case of 1861 the distinction between the sovereign and the non sovereign functions of the government of india and the immunity of the government in respect of its sovereign functions was established now the next question is in which of the following cases the supreme court criticized the doctrine of sovereign immunity of the state So you have the following options and the correct answer is option C that is Nagendra Rao case. So the Supreme Court of India criticized the doctrine of sovereign immunity of the state and adopted a liberal approach with respect to the the tortuous liability of the state in the Nagendra Rao case of the year 1994.
Now the next question is which act states that no judges magistrate justice of peace collector or other person acting judicially shall be liable to be sued in any civil court for any act done by him in the discharge of his official duty so you have the following options and the correct answer is option a that is judicial officers protection act of 1850 so the judicial officers so the judicial officers protection act of 1850 states that no judge magistrate justice of peace collector or other person acting judicially shall be liable to be sued in any civil court for any act done by him in the discharge of his official duty now the next question is how many months of advance notice is given for civil proceedings against civil servants for anything done in their official capacity so you have the following options and the correct answer is option b that is 2 months see civil proceedings can be instituted against civil servants in india for anything done in their official capacity after giving a 2 months advance notice to them however no such notice is required when the the action is to be brought against them for the acts done outside the scope of their official duties now the next question is which of the following article is related to succession to property assets rights liabilities and obligations in certain cases so you have the following options and the correct answer is option a that is article 294 so the article 294 of the constitution of india is related to succession to property assets rights liabilities and obligations in certain cases the articles 294 to 300 in part 12 of the constitution of india deal with the property contracts rights liabilities obligations and suits of the union and the states thank you so much so this was all for today's video so please do provide your feedback in our comment section and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos thank you